Love those little known money saving tips. Thanks, Connor. Well, here on the list, we're celebrating fathers all week. So, what's the secret to being a great dad? Janelle Walton introduces us to one author who thinks he's found a few answers. It's the role of a lifetime for Cincinnati writer Clay Brizendine being a dad. After his girls, nine year old Savannah and seven year old Katrina, were born, Clay says he realized how special the relationship is between dads and their daughters. He wanted to inspire other fathers to be the best dads they could be. His book, Shoebox Letters Daughters to Dads, offers fathers an insight look of how their daughters think and feel about them. If you're a father who's 30 years old or who's 60 years old, you can read through it and go, oh, these dads did this a certain way or did this a certain way, and this is how their relationship turned out. Some of the letters talk about unconditional love from dad and dependable fathers. Thank you for the life advice. Clay's friend Katie Mogenberg included pictures with her letter of her and her dad, Frank. That picture came from one day I came home from ballet class and dad decided to bust a move with me and so there we are in the kitchen having our jam session. Katie says her dad became emotional when he read the letter. Thank you for the quirky, unforgettable songs that can soothe any child. The letters inside this book are written from a daughter's point of view and most of them are sweet but others are filled with disappointment from fathers who drop the ball. On page 85 one daughter writes, you have never taken responsibility for being an absent parent. You aren't man enough to be a good father. You are too selfish. <laughs> Clay says he included these letters to help build and mend relationships. It's never too late to really create a good relationship in this case between dad and daughter. Clay hopes the book will help do just that. So more dads can truly celebrate Father's Day. For The List, I'm Janelle Walton.